हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन अर्ली हाइट कीटोस एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड पार्ट एट इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फी ए डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी ए फ्रॉम एग्जाम दिस इज द हाइड्रेशन ऑफ अल्काइन सो ऑल द अल्काइंस एक्सेप्ट इथाइन एक्सेप्ट इथाइन अंडर गोज दिस रिएक्शन सो मैन यू पास थ्रू सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड मे बी फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड In the presence of HgSO4, that is mercuric sulfate, at 333 Kelvin, you get ketones or aldehydes. So I just write, I am alkynes. When you pass through, so 42% H2SO4 in presence of HgSO4, you get ketones or aldehydes. and the temperature has to be 333 kelvin so let's see the reaction mechanism for example i have my rc triple bond ch this is my alkyne so what happens is i have this 42% s2so4 and hgso4 and i heat it so what will happen is this h plus this h plus will try to attack this to form a carbocation so if you see this bond will break in this fashion to form a stable cup because this bond triple bond can bond break in this fashion or this fashion right but if you break in this fashion you get a stable carbocation as per marconi cough rule and this h plus will be attracted by this so what you get is r c plus double bond ch2 this is a stable carbocation correct and then i have water here so water will come here h2 will have lone pair of electron it will attract this attracted by this plus charge so it will attack on this plus charge and what you get is rc double bond ch2 oxygen oh and h positive charge comes on oxygen and oxygen doesn't like the positive charge so it will break actually so you get this directly i'm writing this correctly because with this charge positive charge can come on or let me draw this one more step so not to confuse you guys positive charge comes on this oxygen it is not happy right so this bond will break and h plus will come out so what you get is this guy correct now now magic will happen now let me draw the structure once again Right now, magic will happen. Now, what will happen is this H will break. So again, it will break in this fashion. It will get a slightly negative charge, and this will also break in this fashion. Right. So this gets a negative charge. This gets a positive charge. They'll form a bond, and this H plus will. attack here so this carbon will attack this guy it will be in this fashion hope you understand see this bond will break and this carbon will get a slightly positive charge slightly negative charge here and this bond will break so h will become h plus and o minus so o minus and c plus form a bond and this h plus will attack this guy so what you get is r c double bond ch3 this is what you get correct this is the mechanism for this reaction so we want i can take one example for example if i take ch3 c triple bond ch so again in this i do the same thing almost 40% h2so4 and hgso4 so what you get is ch3 c double bond ch3 and this is my propanol this is what you get so by hydration of alkynes we can easily get ketones or aldehydes the next is by heating calcium salt of carboxylic acids let's see this method of preparation of aldehydes and ketones by heating calcium salt of carboxylic acids also called distillation of calcium salt of car carboxylic acids 
So generally what happens is you take this uh, calcium cal salt of carboxylic acid you heat it very hard what you get is calcium carbonate why you get this because calcium carbonate is very very stable compound very stable compound and generally how do you get this i won't be giving you the reaction mechanism but i'll just give you a fair idea of how it works for example i have uh, ch3 or let's suppose r any any uh, calcium r c o o minus 2 c this is my cluster this is my calcium salt of carboxylic acid right now in this case if you see r c o minus c a is there from this if you take out c a c o 3 what happens is there are two of these right so typically if you see the structure of this calcium salt of carboxylic acid is something like this Calcium O C O O R O C O R right from this if you want to find take out calcium carbonate C A C O three you have to take out C A C O three this much correct this is C A C O three so if you see this C A C O three is this right so from this if you take C A C O three what you get is this what you get is R C O R. <coughs> this reactions happen at the very very high temperature, so there is no reaction mechanism, but just understand the logic here. C A C O from this you are taking out C A C O3, C A, C and 3 oxygen. So what you get is R C O R. Correct. Now if you have a methanoic calcium salt of calcium salt of methanoic acid and one calcium salt of non methanoic acid what you get is aldehyde correct and if you have calcium salt of non methanoic acid you get ketone for example in this case if i have for example i'll just show you if i, if I take this guy minus ca correct and this i have to also add ch3 or let's suppose take this only right and if you heat this what you get is ch you'll get hcoh plus cacu3 so if you see this is nothing but methanol aldehyde here if you take one of these as uh, again my no methanoic calcium salt and other as non methanoic calcium salt so in this what you get is ch3coh also you get other compound you will take you'll get ch3co ch3 also but you'll get this also one of the products right you'll get a lot of products and now if you take only the meth non methanoic salt for example in this case right and if you heat this CaCO3 will come out and what will be left is CH3COCH3 it's correct if you see from this if you take out CaCO3 you get this so you get aldehydes you get ketones so if you take a um, methanoic salt or calcium salt of methanoic acid you get aldehydes you get calcium salts of non methanoic acid you get ketones and if you take combination of these for example here this is the combination of calcium salt of uh, methanoic acid calcium salt of non methanoic acid you get aldehydes also you'll get you'll get ketones also you'll get you'll get a lot of product you'll get three product actually correct okay. so remember the reaction mechanism is not important here what is important here is given the reactant you should be able to take out CaCO3 and form a product and why you take out CaCO3 because CaCO3 is very very stable compound very very stable compound the next is we'll try to prepare aldehyde and ketone from Grignard region so here just understand that if you take hydrogen cyanide then you will get you'll take if we get hydrogen cyanide 
So what you get is aldehyde. And if you take any alkyl cyanide, what you'll get is ketone. I'll explain this just since it's critical. So I'm writing in top. Now let's see the reaction mechanism. <coughs> let's see for aldehyde. So I have to take Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent, you know, is RMGX, where R has a negative charge and this guy has a positive charge, right? And it's slightly positive charge. And if I take HCN, because for aldehyde, I will take HCN, HC triple bond N. Correct. Now what will happen is nitrogen is more liquid nitrogen to try to attract electron towards itself. Carbon will draw get slightly positive charge, nitrogen will get slightly negative charge. This positive charge, this R is R minus. So R minus will attack this carbon. And nitrogen, this bond will break and nitrogen will attack this MgX. So what you get output here is my C with the H. This double bond will break into double bond and this carbon will get my R and this nitrogen will get my MgX. Correct. So once I am done with this, I need to put water in this. Now if I put water in this, what will I get is aldehyde. So if I put water in this, let's see what happens. So just for simplicity, I'm assuming water has H plus and OH minus ion, right? So this bond will again break in this fashion. Nitrogen is more electronegative. So this will get a slightly negative charge and it will get a slightly positive charge. So OH minus will attack this carbon and nitrogen will attack this hydrogen. So what we get is HC. This becomes OH here, this is N, we have H, MgX, and I have R here. This is what you get, correct? Assuming my HOH breaks in this fashion. Now, what will happen is, this nitrogen will try to come out, correct? So what will happen is, this OH bond will break, and you get a double bond here. So let's see the reaction mechanism, let this be OH here. So OH will go off in this fashion, right? H plus will go off. So this will be a negative charge and this guy, this bond will also break, right? So this bond will break in this fashion so that this gets a positive charge here. This bond will break in this fashion. And this hydrogen, nitrogen will get negative charge and this nitrogen will attract this hydrogen. So with this, what you get is R, C double bond O R, sorry this is H, H C double bond R, the double bond here, why? Because this bond will break, it will have a negative charge, this bond will get, carbon will get a positive charge, so oxygen negative charge, carbon positive charge will form a bond and this nitrogen has now has hydrogen, two hydrogen and MgX, correct. Now again, you add water to this, so just assuming it, Water is S plus OH minus just for simplicity. So again, what will happen is this nitrogen, since it has lone pair, it will attack on this H plus and this bond will break actually. This bond will break in this fashion. So what we get is this will become NH3 and this will become NGX and here OH will come. This bond breaks. Correct? And this is what you get. So total you get is RCOH. And this is my aldehyde. And this came when I have used HCN. So if you see, if I use HCN, I get, so this H is my, this H. So instead of H, if I use R here, I get R here. Correct? Let me show you one real example for aldehydes. So let's suppose I have this CH3MGI is my Grignard agent in that I use HCN. So what you get is CH3COOH. Right, this is what you get. Plus NH3 plus MGI. OH. 
similar reaction for ketones for ketones if you see I have my RMGX and then instead of using SCN I'll use RCN so what you get is this bond breaks and it is R dash so you get uh, R dash C R comes here R minus MGX plus you get this MGX correct and on this if you add water you get R dash C double bond O R this is my ketone plus NH3 and MGX OH reaction mechanism exactly similar to what we have discussed just now right so for example I can show you an example I have CH3MGI is my Grignard region it reacts with CH3 C double one N and what you get is CH3 C here you get CH3 double bond N and MGI on this if you add water what you get is CH3 C double bond CH3 and MGI OH plus ammonia this is the reaction mechanism for preparing aldehydes and ketone from Grignard region thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching